Do you believe in ghosts? Hello, and thank you for watching. My name is Jeffrey Checker. I run a team of like-minded Christians called the Demon Hunter Society. We help clients resolve conflict between themselves and the supernatural. I have had many experiences over many years with what is popularly termed, the paranormal. The topic of the paranormal world is really opening up, compared to the times when I was growing up, back in the 70s and 80s. If you even attempted to discuss ghosts and the like, you were met with sarcasm and smirks. This still happens today in some cases. Our current modern world seems to emphasize and applaud the importance that these spirits hold over us. Many popular television shows bring millions of viewers to tune in each week, as the paranormal teams attempt to capture evidence of those that have passed. This evidence, evidence is captured using video, photo, audio and other electronic devices deemed to be scientific in nature, is supposed to reassure and possibly help the clients to understand why the spirits are there. My team takes a different approach to this subject altogether. When the Demon Hunter Society receives a call for help, we jump into action using the Word of God, the Bible. We believe, based on many years of study and our own experiences, that the spirits roaming the earth are not made up of the souls of past humans whose lives are now nothing but plasma roaming the earth. No, we believe and show proof through our own evidence that the spirits people are confronted with are actually Satan and his fallen angels. I had my first supernatural experience at the age of 9, when I innocently took part in a seance that a friend from school offered. We asked that the spirit of Abraham Lincoln appear, and sure enough, something similar did appear. At first glance, we thought it was Abe, but then I noticed that this apparition was bleeding from a chest wound. Every good American knows that Abe was shot in the back of the head, so how did his spirit happen to be bleeding from the chest, I wondered. I remembered my biblical education, and called the spirit out, telling it that I knew it was a demon. Immediately, the demon reached forward and shoved the front of my head into a candle that we had burning for the seance. My hair caught on fire, and my friend and I ran screaming out of the basement as I swatted at my hair to stop the fire. From that point forward, I had a strong interest in the supernatural. Today, the Demon Hunter Society runs a small non-profit ministry that helps those afflicted with the demonic. The team investigates our clients' lives and homes to see why the demonic are present and then we perform a house blessing or exorcism of the home or client, as the case may be. We videotape all of our investigations, we call them hunts, and then upload some of them to YouTube. We also upload video and picture evidence to our Facebook page and have a small following of people there as well. It is very important to our team that people realize a few things about us. We are Christians, so we don't use the term, paranormal, except to initially describe to our clients what it is they are dealing with. Most clients initially believe they have ghosts in their house. We aren't attempting to take the credit for the outcome of our investigations and house blessings, exorcisms. We give God all of the credit. 
The Demon Hunter Society provides real relief for our clients. We don't just investigate, and then tell the client, yeah, you definitely have something in your home. Buy now, as you so often see on these popular television series. We follow up with our clients, days, weeks, months and years afterwards, providing ongoing support. We also provide counseling services and direct clients back to church. Baptisms often take place with our clients as well. Demon Hunter Society has won four awards at the Paranormal Awards 2014. Team of the Year, Best Picture Evidence, Best EVP Evidence, and Rites of Exorcism.